Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create these simple buildings using the perspective grid preset we've created previously. If you would like to learn how to create a custom grid and save it for future use, please check out my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description. Let's open a new document and select the perspective grid tool. Now we need to replace this default grid with the custom grid preset we've created previously. To do this, go to View, Perspective Grid, Define Grid, open the preset pull-down menu and select a desired preset. If you didn't create a preset yet, don't worry. You can copy all of these values into your document and then click OK. If necessary, move the grid to the side. And we are ready to create our first shape. Click on this icon, hold, and select the Perspective Selection tool. We will be using this tool a lot. I would highly recommend to learn the keyboard shortcut for it. First, we will create this wall. In order to draw on the left blue plane, First, make sure it is active. Your cursor should have an arrow pointing left and the widget on top should show the presently active blue grid plane. To switch between planes, either use the widget or the keyboard shortcuts. Number 1 for the left blue plane, number 3 for the right orange plane and number 2 for the green bottom plane. With the left grid plane active, choose the rectangle tool. You will notice that my stroke is set to none. I would not recommend using strokes as they don't scale well on the perspective grid. Be sure the snap to grid option is checked. Now click on this intersection hold and drag to create a big wall. Release your mouse when you see the word intersect. This will create a tight fit between shapes later on. Next, we will create windows. Let's change the fill color. First, hold down the control key and click away to deselect. Choose light gray and let's zoom in on this corner. Our blue grid is difficult to see. We can change it. Go to view, perspective grid, define grid and click on the left grid color icon. Now choose a more contrasting color shade and then click OK. First we will create a window frame. Click on this intersection, hold and drag to create a square. Now we will make two glass panels. First go to view, perspective grid, define grid and change the grid line to every 10 points. Let's choose white for the fill and create a long rectangle. Next we'll make a copy and move it to the left. Press the Shift and V keys on your keyboard to switch to the Perspective Selection tool. Now click on this rectangle and move it to the left. Don't release your mouse yet. Now press and hold down the ALT key and when you see the double arrow symbol next to the cursor, release your mouse and then release the ALT key. Let's select the larger rectangle and change its color to dark gray. If you wish, go to View, Perspective Grid, Define Grid and change the grid line back to 30. Next, we would like to select the whole window, but we don't want to move our big wall. We could click on the big wall to select it and lock it, but sometimes, if you are not careful, this can create a slight movement. It is better to open layer 1 Select a desired shape and lock it here. Now we can draw a box around the whole window to select it without moving the big wall. Let's group it together. 
next we'll create a few copies. So like we did previously, first click on the window and move it along the grid line to the left. While you are holding your mouse, press and hold down the ALT key as well. And when you see the two arrows next to the cursor, first release your mouse and then release the ALT key. Next, press the CTRL and D keys on your keyboard a few times to create more copies. Let's select all windows, group them together and copy them to the top. Select all windows and group them together again. Be sure the distance from the end of the wall to the window is the same on both sides. Let's unlock the layer with a big rectangle and select it. Now find the center of this bounding box. Your cursor should change to this icon. Click on this middle reference point and drag it right to make the wall shorter. Next we'll copy the main wall without windows and paste it to the right grid plane. With the wall still selected, click on it, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the number 3 key on your keyboard. By doing this, we activate the right orange grid plane. Now position this rectangle so its bottom left corner snaps to the origin point. While still holding the mouse, press and hold down the ALT key. And when you see the cursor changing to two arrows, first release the mouse and then release the ALT key. Let's make this wall shorter by moving the middle reference point to the left. And be sure this edge snaps to the grid line. Now select the front wall with all the windows. Be careful not to touch the wall on the right. And group it together. Now we can move it as one unit. Next we'll create another building like this one. Let's create a copy of this wall. Click at the bottom of this wall and drag it along this grid line. While you are still holding your mouse, press and hold down the ALT key. Now release the mouse and then release the ALT key. Let's zoom in on this area and move this side to align with the other wall. Be sure the Snap to Grid option is turned on. Let's zoom out. Next we'll bring this wall to the front. To do this be sure the left wall is selected. Now right click, choose Perspective and select Move Plane to Match Object. This will snap our object to the left grid plane. Now click on the left grid plane control, hold and move it to the front. While you are moving the plane, hold down the Shift key as well. Position the grid plane where you want to place the second wall and now First release your mouse and then release the SHIFT key. Let's zoom in. If the group of windows is not showing, open the sublayers of the selected group, select the sublayer with the wall and move it below the windows sublayer. If you wish to move this wall a little closer to the other building, first select the entire wall and then move this grid plane while pressing the SHIFT key. Next we'll copy this wall and move it to the other side of the building. First let's select this entire front wall and lock it. Let's lock this second wall as well. Next select the wall on the right, click on the right grid plane control, and while you are holding down the SHIFT key, drag it all the way past the front wall. 
While you are still holding the mouse and the shift key, press the Alt key as well to make a copy. Let's apply a different color to it and then click away to deselect. Select only this wall and zoom in on it. Next, we need to move this green wall to align with the edge of the front wall. You will notice that it is hard to move the wall to the exact edge of the first building while using the orange grid plane control. I will show you another way to do this. First, click on the green shape, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the number 5 key on your keyboard as well to move it along this grid plane. Now move it all the way to this corner and first release your mouse and then release the number 5 key. And here is our copied wall. Next we need to move it this way. With the back wall still selected, right click on it, select perspective and choose move plane to match object. Now we can click on it, hold and drag along this plane. Let's move it all the way to align with the edge of this wall. Next, click on this middle reference point and make the wall shorter. And extend it a little bit more to align with the edge of this wall. If you wish, bring the grid planes to their original position. Finally, we will create a ground surface. First, let's lock all layers. Next, switch to the rectangle tool. Choose a desired fill color and draw a rectangle. Be sure to select the bottom grid plane first. We can either select it from the tab widget or press the number 2 key on your keyboard instead. And let's create a big rectangle. Now right click on it, choose Arrange and Send to Back. And adjust it a little bit more. If you wish, unlock all layers. And now you can apply different colors. Select the side walls and adjust their brightness. Or select everything and recolor your artwork. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.